Hi everyone, it's the last week of May 2010. I'm Dwight Schmuck. This is the Schmuck Look. A video friend of mine, a subscriber, Paula Tuhair, sent me a video about Michelle Bachman, who's going to reintroduce the Defense of Marriage Act out there in uh, Minnesota. And, you know, Paula, you're absolutely right in challenging this woman. I was going to say another word that rhymes with itch, but, you know, I'll be nice because, you know, I'm a real schmuck, not a dumb one. But, you know, and, and you mentioned that I forget who all, uh, Glenn Beck and everybody else is jumping in and, you know, supporting Michelle because, you know, marriage is supposed to be between a man and a woman. Folks, a while back I testified in front of the Vermont State Senate Judiciary Committee when it was considering bringing the bill out of committee to allow gay marriage here in Vermont, which, you know, we successfully got passed through. It's the first state to do it by, you know, legislature, not by court action. <laughs> no flies on us up here in the north. You know, what I want to ask you all is the same, the very same question I asked the Vermont State Senate Judiciary Committee. Because, you know, people like Michelle... Bachman and Glenn Beck, notice how they are both from the B list. They're not haters. Paulie you had that wrong. They're not haters. What they are is scared little bunnies, terrified of any shadow that, well, it might even be their shadows, but they're scared of anybody who isn't exactly like them. They're scared of all of us because we're not exactly like them, and they want us to conform to their molds and worship them and you know kiss their feet and think that every word that comes spilling out of their mouth is golden when it's really brown crap because you know face it what difference can it possibly make if two people you don't know in a place you've never been probably never will be get married how does that possibly affect your life like I said, I'm going to ask you a question here. When I ask the, the Judiciary Committee, what are you scared of? Surely you can't be scared of the people who just want to get married. Why are you scared of love? Think about that. Why are you scared of love? And doesn't that affect everything you do? I'm betting it does. You know, it's the truth. You know, sure, marriage has been defined for centuries as between a man and a woman. Well, in a lot of places, because there's a number of places that, you know, it can be between a man and several women. And there's one or two places where it can be between several women and one lucky guy. Oh, yeah, lucky my foot. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying here. Uh, yeah, the Mormons, the original Mormons, wanted to practice polygamy. Oh my! Uh, yeah, Brigham Young and Mark Twain were on a on a on a train one day and got into the philosophical argument, religious philosophical argument about polygamy. And Mark Twain insisted that, you know, in the Bible, it, sh it clearly states you cannot have more than one wife. And Brigham Young handed Mark Twain his Bible and said, you show it to me. Show me anywhere in the Bible it says you cannot have more than one wife. And Mark Twain opened it right up, you know, pointed it right out. And no man can serve two masters. Well, there you go. Folks, what are you scared of here? Somebody wants to get married you let them. Because if you give the government, any government, the right to decide who can and cannot get married, eventually they're going to decide against you or someone you know or, you know, your kids or your grandkids because, well, they're not just like the guys in power that day. And those fellows are going to be scared too. Here you go. Do you choose to live like unscared people should or do you want to cower behind your fear like I said I'm going to ask you real serious again here 
What are you scared of? I'm Dwight Schmuck. That's the Schmuck Look today. Peace, everyone.